Wise man once said, controversy creates cash. Well, we're going to find out if that's true, as today we've got Danny from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Loot Crate movie line. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles unboxing and review. And today we've got Danny from the Ninja Turtle Loot Crate movie line. It's an exclusive, but for all your other non-exclusive action figures, be it some Ninja Turtles but a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And this one, of course, is on Big Bad Toy Store. At least it was as of a couple of weeks ago. I think it was a hundred and some dollars because it's an aftermarket exclusive at this point. This came in a loot crate box, gosh, I want to say about six months ago. Finally getting around to unboxing it here on the channel. Gotta say, I was not too excited when I saw the finished product in hand. Kind of put it to the back of the list for a long time. But it is the holiday season. Well, it's probably long after the holiday season now. But I decided, hey, I'm going to film this. Have this as kind of a, a backup safety net video, whatever, for a rainy day. Well, whatever day it is right now that this is posting, that day has come. We're finally taking a look at Danny. Controversy for sure. A lot of outcry. I saw it for myself when I got this, like I just said. So I don't know how this one's going to go. This could be one of the most disappointing Ninja Turtle releases in all time, or maybe it won't be that bad. We'll see. We're going to investigate. I always say I like to unbox it, see it with my own eyes, get my true feelings to this one. And that's exactly what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. Let's take a look at old Danny in the package. Now, we know this packaging by now. It's the movie-inspired packaging. Not as many bells and whistles, not as colorful and bright, of course, as the cartoon line or even some of the Super 7 lines out there. Uh, it's more of a dark, gritty, but you know what? That Turtle universe in the movie, a little bit more darker, a little bit more gritty, so I guess it does fit the bill there. Looks like we've got an extra head for Danny. We've got some accessories. We'll dive into those when we do. Uh, we got the Turtle team down there, the logo, Nickelodeon, all that kind of fun stuff. Glamour shot of Danny on the side. And a pretty good face sculpt of Danny there, at least on the picture. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all that fun stuff. And, of course, the back. There it is. The turtles below. we got a generic blur. you got some action figure shots. Love a good glamour shot of the action figure. you got that going on there. So you can see what's up. Um, nothing good on the back here. Just a generic blurb we've seen numerous times. The issue with this Danny is these arms are so skinny and weird looking. He almost looks like one of those gray aliens. You guys know Kyle's scared of gray aliens and he's scared of the Kaminoans in Star Wars Universe, those cloners. I mean, watch out for those guys. Watch out for those guys. But he's got those long limbs. It kind of reminds me of that Simpsons episode where Mr. Burns was coming out of the woods and they thought he was like an a alien or something, but it was just him. He had those long arms going on. That's what his body, his arms remind me of, uh, if you guys are familiar with that. But let's get to it. Let's, uh, without any further ado, let's see what Danny's doing outside of the package. Nice sewer diorama in the back there. Not too bad. I do save my turtle boxes for whatever reason. I'm going to build a log cabin with them when things are all said and done, I think. Uh, he is strapped in. Oh, yeah, he's strapped in. All right, we'll get in the plastic prison first. There he is, old Danny in the plastic prison. Extra head, I do like that. He does have some sort of accessory. Not sure exactly what that is. I'm going to jog my memory when we get him out of the package here, hopefully. Come on. Come on, Danny. Come on out. Come out and play like the Warriors would. I'll see you later. See you later. There you go. And I forgot to put my phone on silent. That could be dangerous. You know, work, they bother me 24-7. It's 24-7 deal. And all right, we got Danny out of the package here. And the head is all right. Both heads are all right. I don't, eh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the one, let's do with the one we got on here. He's got a nice bandana going on. He's kind of got that reddish hair. He's got his foot cayenne bandana going on there. I like that. The eyes are a little off center. His mouth looks a little strange. It looks like it's supposed to be teeth, but it almost looks like he's chewing on some sunflower seeds and kind of choking on them a little bit. Uh, but where this really gets lost, though, is the arms. These arms look so strange. Just so thin, so strange. I don't know what they were thinking there. Uh, not good at all. Very, very small hands. Obviously, he is a kid. He is smaller. But it just seems like almost phony. I mean, it just doesn't seem real, these arms. They're that skinny. No detail. They just look like twigs, basically. They look like a couple of toothpicks stuck together. Uh, and that really does hurt the figure. I wonder if you put his hands, I might display him 
with his hands behind his back like this uh, to really hide that unflattering part of his anatomy and just display him this way. Uh, I do like the tennis shoes he's got going on. That is pretty cool. Blue jeans look good. Uh, Articulation-wise, you got knees, of course. Uh, not a whole lot after that. Ankles, you got a little bit of ankle, not a ton of movement. No ab crunch or anything. He does have a long shirt. We'll talk about that in a second. He's got wrist articulation, elbow articulation, the head, of course, being removable. Uh, but he does have a uh, Sid Vicious Sex Pistol shirt on. That is a cool attention to detail. It's not always easy to clear things like that, and they obviously got that cleared. So I do like that attention to detail. Oh, his accessory is his uh, Walkman and headphones. Oh, love a good Walkman. Love a good Walkman. I remember when I got my first Walkman, I was like in sixth grade. Uh, I remember just listening to a lot of cassette tapes on my way to and fro school as Kyle walked every day to school. He was a walker from the word go, walking to school. Uh, but we got that. It's a nice attention to detail. I could see this breaking though. Very, uh, very um, fragile, like we see with a lot of NECA accessories. This one, no different, but it's cool to get a tape deck with headphones. Uh, I could see figure photographers using this in a different toy line. You could get multiple uses out of that, so that is kind of fun. Now let's switch heads. Let's pop them off. Very small peg joint on this because he's got a small head. Just a very strange figure. I think this is one NECA would love if they could just run this back one last time and say, hey, can we fix some things? Uh, and this is more just a regular Danny. He doesn't have the uh, bandana going on. I like that the mouth is closed. I almost wish this was an open mouth and had the headband on. Uh, but just this look, though, at the same time. So, I, I don't know. I can't really win with this one, it seems like. By no means is this the best Ninja Turtle figure we've received. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? What do you know? He does. So, if you need him to stand, he's got one he can stand on there. Let's put him next to a turtle. I can't remember off the top of my head the exact height discrepancies between these two, but I feel like he might be a hair small. I mean, I, I remember him being small, but about the same size as the turtles, roughly. That could be my just in my head, but he seems very small. All around, small diameter, small in height, small in weight, of course, compared to Michelangelo that we have here as an example. So that is a little bit strange. I don't know. You could get reuse out of this guy. He'd be great in a crowd scene if you have a wrestling crowd scene, but that's a pretty expensive crowd scene member. I don't know if I would uh, warrant that for him, but anything's possible. Choose your own adventure, as we always say on the channel, but pretty underwhelming. This could be the most underwhelming Ninja Turtle figure we've unboxed here on the channel. Uh, I, it's a character that is a bit of a minute character. I understand why it's in the Loot Crate box. Same time, uh, go go big or go home. Constant learning, constant improvements. They shouldn't have gave us these arms. I know there are some great customizers out there. Old Dave Wheeler, if you guys know Dave Wheeler, search him out on Twitter. Does good YouTube live streams every single week uh, with the Foosh and other people I've been on a few times. But Dave, he can fix this up for you. I might look into Dave and say, Dave, why don't you help me out here? Uh, as I do travel up to Minnesota for work every once in a while. I might take a visit to old Dave Wheeler and say, Dave, what parts do I need and, and help me make this right? Because I know he did that with his. Uh, so if you got a customizer friend out there or you're a customizer, you could probably build on this to make this a little bit better if you want to. Maybe you're happy like this. Maybe you're not happy at all. You passed on it. You guys tell me in the comments what you think about this. For me, for Danny, I'm going to have it because I'm a completionist. But I, there's by no means is this even top of the list of my turtle favorite figure. Probably the bottom of the movie figures, to be honest with you. Uh, but that's what I think. You guys tell me what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And, of course, follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson support the channel so try to be like danny rocking and rolling strutting and strolling with his sex pistols t-shirt on i'm kyle see you guys all real soon